impact that FUBU had on on um, American culture, what it had on uh, black culture, and, you know, the, the moves that, you know, young, powerful entrepreneur, ent entrepreneurs, you know what I mean, uh, made for themselves, especially being people of color. You know what I mean? It was, it was a very powerful statement. It was a very powerful movement. You know, FUBU made history, and, um, you know, I salute them. So, you know, sometimes it's like we don't even, we don't, uh, we don't, we don't pass on the generations that come after us, you know, the information and the knowledge that they may need to know. So certain of them I wouldn't even blame, you know, they may just, you know, go to the to the big um, stores and, you know, the franchises and see FUBU and not really know that at one point FUBU was the hottest shit on the block. My favorite FUBU moment is simple, probably among many, many people's favorite. It was definitely how LL Brody bodied that Gap commercial, you know what I mean, with, with, with the FUBU statement, you know what I mean, with the FUBU hat, with the for us, by us, in the ROM. I mean, that was just like, that was hip hop in its biggest element. For him to be able to get, get, get through that, you know what I mean, be on a Gap commercial, which was one of the biggest brands in the world, and represent FUBU like that. Like, I salute, I salute everybody for that. I salute Damon, I salute LL, I salute FUBU for that movement. Everybody wears FUBU, like, I can't say who didn't wear FUBU. I was a young boy coming up, so you know what I mean? I, I, I saw it from, from a fan's perspective, not even being in the game and just appreciating the movement and the clothes. And I mean, it really set the standard, man, you know what I'm saying? Before, you know, there was a rock, rock Aware, you know, before there was a Sean John, you know, before there was an Aku, you know, before there was an 8732, before there was a Bape, you know, there was FUBU, so, really set the standard. I mean, you know, the only OG that I can really put in the same category is, is Russell Simmons with, with Fat Farm, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, shout out to people like Maurice Malone and, you know, um, Carl Kanai, but that whole era, that whole generation, I mean, they're really the, the, they're the godfathers, they're the, they're the forefront of, of everybody that's getting mass amounts of wealth right now in the, in the, um, in the, in the clothing in the clothing world. FB means to me, it means a couple things. I mean, first of all, you know, Barack Obama, I'm the fucking best. You know what I mean? So that's FB all day. And then, you know, more importantly, man, it means family business. You know what I'm saying? And when I mean family, I'm not just talking about blood family, I'm talking about loyalty. You know what I mean? I'm talking about us as people together. I'm talking about family, I'm talking about hip hop. You know what I mean? We are family, so we all have to stick together. We all have to support our own. I salute FUBU for what they came in this game and did. And for that, they're, they're family to me because you know, some of the movements I'm making is because of what Damon did um, before before I was in this game and everything. So, FB means family business, man. Do your research. Hey, yo, what up? It's the one only Barack Obama, Drama, Mr. Thanksgiving. Check this out on FBGlobal.com and get your facts on Twitter, FBGlobal. Y'all know what it is, man. Holla at me.